All right, everybody. So it is colder than a witch's tit in southern BC. <laughs> Probably can't see out there, but it's uh, snowing. It's about my yeah, about three degrees below freezing, which in the world of winter is nothing. But when you're trying to work on it, it's not any fun. But I'm gonna try and uh, get as much as I can done here. I can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm bored out of my mind, so I gotta do something. So I'm gonna try and uh, get this dash out of here today. It's too cold for any, uh, you know, anything uh, solvents or anything like that to, to cure, so uh, to evaporate and cure. So seam sealer and, and um, all that kind of stuff. Not gonna work, so I can't do anything on these uh, slide outs. So I'm gonna work on this, uh, getting this dash out of here. I have a fiberglass reproduction dash coming and um, so I'll try and prep this all for it uh, today or at least get as much as I can done before I freeze to death <laughs> anyways that's uh, that's my plan still got to get that heater out of there finish mountain windshield wipers and all that jazz so anyways that's my plan for today. Don't know how long I'll last, but I'm gonna take a crack at it anyways. All right, so got the other windshield wiper mocked up into place. Haven't trimmed them down yet. They're still too long, but just want to make sure they're all gonna fit and everything. Seems to be good. Flip inside here in a second. So I cut the top of the dash off here, part of the old uh, gauge cluster. What I'm going to do is leave this section here until that other dash shows up and I'll see how much of that I'm going to cut out of there or maybe I'll leave it all, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but uh, I got some when I get to pull the front skin off of there, there's some some cancer I'm going to have to fix down in there. This is all solid. It looks, uh, you know, it's all rusted up, but it's just uh, surface rust. I've ground some of the bits and pieces off, and it just flakes off, and it's good and solid under it, so that's good. The top of the the top of the dash is, is pooched, but this um, face here, I, th I think I can save that. Um, not too worried about it being... Uh, for anything that's going to be like it's going to have a skin or a cover over it, so all it has to be is kind of a a um, just a, a, a structure in behind it. If that makes any sense. Anyways, but this down in here, there's some cancer there. I'm going to have to deal with when the skin's off. Nothing major, but uh, you know. Definitely some rust in there that's going to have to be dealt with. Um, and you can see where the interference with the uh, factory defroster ducts would be with these windshield or these, uh, yeah, with the wiper motors. So this side would be okay. But um, this one. With some interference so this is all coming out of here anyway so it doesn't matter to me but for somebody that was doing this in a you know an original bus I want to keep the the original heater it would be uh, it'd be a challenge to uh, that would have to be rethought out doable but in this case it doesn't matter because I'm yanking it all out of there anyways anyways this uh, this end here is all a rust bucket I have to cut that all out of there too, but like I say, I'm not worried about it for a uh, for a structure. Anyways, I just have to um, I just need to have it to, when I build a fiberglass cap for it. I'll have to I'll uh, just has to have something to sit on. So I think it'll be won't be as bad as I was initially thinking. Anyways, a little more later. So this ducting for the uh, for the defroster. Is all fiberglass, so I'm sure uh, you know if somebody 
wanted to convert to uh, electric wipers it wouldn't be too hard to modify that to there's the top of the heater there that it came off of so uh, with a little bit of a little bit of ingenuity I'm sure I could figure out a, a way of uh, making this work with the uh, with the electric wipers So I hooked up the batteries for the first time in, uh, heck, almost two years. <laughs> Been keeping them charged, but uh, haven't had them hooked up, actually hooked up to the bus for uh, almost two years now. Uh, uh, just trying to get some power up uh, into the, uh, the old electrical panel there. There's a line coming out of there still. So I'm uh, just going to see if I can get these wipers working. But right at the moment, I'm just going to uh, take a few minutes and shorten up, shorten up the arms here. I measure them out. I've got to take four and a quarter inches out of them. So I'll do that first, and then I'll uh, see if I can get them working. Okay, so I knocked the rivets out. Of these, so I'm just going to shorten them up four and a quarter inches now. Just took a flap wheel and knocked the heads off the rivets. These all need to be re, uh, repaint all these arms and everything, anyways. So, uh, anyways, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to shorten these up four and a quarter inches and rivet them back together again. Okay, so I got one side shortened up here. I haven't riveted it together yet. They're just stuck in there. I just wanted to uh, check and see how it fit. Really got to be careful to get these the same length because they uh, doesn't take much like a fraction of an inch and this blade doesn't sit vertical so I figured that out pretty darn quick. I had one, ah, heck I don't know, less than a sixteenth of an inch longer than the other one and um, yeah, it was sitting at an angle there, so I had to uh, just shorten it up just a tiny bit. Now it's nice and square. So I'll just run this across. Sweep seems pretty good. So I'll go ahead and rivet it there. And I'll do the other one. And... Uh, I may end up having to put uh, a little bit shorter blades on it, but uh, we'll try it with these first. See what the stroke ends up being on them when, when you know when the when the motor's running. Anyways, I will uh, go ahead and rivet that one down, and then do the other one exactly the same. I thought it was going to. So, I'm not happy with that. It needs to be, it needs to be a longer stroke. I'm not sure how to do that yet. Um, I have a couple of ideas. One of them is on the back side on the linkage there, Link, uh, lengthen the, uh, the linkage so that it strokes it farther. One option. Here's the driver's side. I ran it as well. And that has about the right stroke. But so I can I guess the other option would be to maybe drop the wiper arm. Build up with some kind of a custom bracket to break the uh, drop the wiper arm down a couple of inches. Um, this one, these arms are steel, so I can, uh, you know, 
if I need to, I can just weld each back on it. Well, I'm going to back out again. I'm going to now just sand this up so it's visible, but I don't want to see up the top the top thing. That's a combination of the two things. But there's the, the original, you know, unmodified one. But it's the post is way too high on the window, so what I recommend is drop the wiper blade down. Center is meeting here. Now nah, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Uh, so that's not going to be an option. Um, modifying that linkage so that it uh, slopes a little bit farther is going to be the answer. I can move this, uh, you know, pivot it over. So that it slopes to the outside a little bit farther, and it doesn't spark. You know, the, the farther I go up the other way, the farther this side goes out as well. So I'm going to have to think about it for a little bit. Again, as before, if anybody has any ideas, I'd love to hear them. They bolt it in here. That's the easy part. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna have to scratch my head a little bit. Come up with something. But like I say, if anybody has any uh, any ideas, I'd like to hear them. Okay, so as I'm watching this thing run here from up inside, I think if I was to reposition this point here up higher. I'll have to figure out how much. If I was to position it up into here somewhere, I th think I'm going to change the ratio and I or am I thinking it backwards here? Does it need to be longer? think about it a bit. Anyways, if somebody has any ideas, I think that's going to be the easiest, is reposition this point here. So, but I'm not sure whether shortening it or lengthening it is what I want to do. Anyways, anybody has any ideas, any suggestions, let me know. More minds the better. <laughs>